Hey, how you doing? Today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a flat tour and show you how I live. And if you stay till the end of the video, I'm also gonna give you guys a cost breakdown and how much it costs to live here. It's coming upstairs. So halfway up, we've got a little washing machine for all your washing needs. Just there. I always do a 30 degree wash because I don't want anything to shrink. And this is the flat. This is where I live. This is the living room. Couples is the kitchen and my bedroom. It's a nice little kitchen area. It's got an induction hob here so I can do some frying, cook my stir fries and also cook my curries because I'm Indian. We've got a little fridge here. I'll give you a quick fridge tour. Coke Zero because I drink a hell of a lot of that. It's got a lot of caffeine in it. And as you guys know from my previous videos, I do like my caffeine. And I also like Coke. Got loads of eggs in here. I have approximately two of those a day. Some beers, high protein bread, lots of chicken in there. I've also got some apples, vegetables, and also 0% fat Greek style yogurt because it's a great source of protein. I've always got English mustard inside the fridge because I need spice in my diet. And this is a great little addition to sandwiches. I absolutely love it. So that's the fridge, great little fridge area. We've got a storage section just underneath the, the sink. I don't know why that took me a while to think of because that's quite clearly a sink. Got a spare battery for my camera just in case that one dies. Um, phone's going, who's this? My sister. Let's see what she wants. Hello? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Huh? Where are you? I'm just at home. I'm just doing like a flat tour. This is my favorite piece in the kitchen. Espresso maker, which is amazing because what you do is you unscrew this top, you stick the ground coffee, which is up here. I use Italian's finest lavazza. Put the ground coffee inside there. I turn it on and then the water pressurizes the coffee and makes espresso style coffee. I'll probably stick the link in the description for you guys to buy one as well. So you can enjoy Italian espresso coffee as well. In here we have all my dishes, my pans, pots, knives. So over here is my little, um, I guess you could call it office, but I don't want to be like, you know, bougie like that. Is that bougie? Saying you've got an office. I don't have an office, my flat. But as you can see, this is where uh, I make music. I've got a song here which I produced. I'm gonna get around to releasing this at some point. You like me, that's no news. Don't care, let's guess that makes two. I guess you just cannot see. That's why you discredit me. Yeah. How many times have I said I don't see no point? If I only would you hear my voice, cause I don't see no choice. And that's all you're hearing of the rap song. But I have also been producing a little bit of house. It's my first ever house song because I listen to a lot of house music. And that is the music that I DJ nowadays. So this is like a feel for what I've been making. Yeah. And that's all you're getting. Also over here, this is where I practice some of my DJ stuff. I've got my DJ decks up there. Two XDJ sort of miniature things, which are really cool. And then I've also got a mixer up here, and I put that over here and I move all this stuff. I don't use a laptop because DJing from a laptop, is it really DJing? I'll take you into my living area. Come on into my living area. Lovely little carpet thing. It's not a carpet, it's a rug, but it's super soft. I do like to just lay on it sometimes and just, you know, enjoy the softness of this, um, this rug. The only drawback about this flat, other than the size, we've got a tube here. Look, if, if you show everyone outside, that's quite annoying. This is nice because when I close it, you can't really hear, it's good windows. So, well done to the landlord that kitted this place out and refurbed that they did a good job. I'll take you over here, this is my wardrobe. This place didn't come with a wardrobe. Originally, there was actually a bed here and they expected you to make this your wardrobe up there. But I decided to get rid of the bed, turn this into a living area, buy a wardrobe, and then turn this into the bedroom. We open these curtains, voila, look, that is the bedroom. So, if we come on up, I will show you how we sleep. There you go. So this is the bedroom, this is a double bed. It's big enough. So I've got my shoes up here. A few books down here. Books on Think and Grow Rich. Because don't we all want to think and grow rich? 
this is where I store all my underwear, socks, all that stuff. And I've got another little storage box in here that has, you know, some scarves, stuff like that. And then, you know, just random stuff, another box there. So let's go back downstairs. Uh, this is my wardrobe. As I say, I bought this from Ikea. This cost me about 200 pounds, I think. It's actually really good because it's got a section to hang up all your clothing, which is nice. Gym stuff down here. I've got bags down there. Up here, I've got some boxes. Obviously, we've got San Miguel beer, a box of Coke Zero, some caps up here as well. So when I have a bad hair day, I can just stick one of these on. I don't want to ruin my hair right now, so I'm not going to stick it on. Got an LA cap, which my ex-girlfriend that cheated on me bought me. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> lovely reminder of her. Um, and then a box with some more like just random stuff in there, wires, cables. And then we've got this drawer, which kind of has like my watch, my jewellery, hand sanitizer, padlock here, got some gloves, chewing gum. This is so, so important. I have a big problem with people that do not have chewing gum on nights out. It's like, I am constantly asked, hey, do you have chewing gum? Buy some. So I decided to get myself on Amazon. I paid £10 for this, right? And I always have chewing gum now. Do you want to pack it? Oh, uh, yeah. Why yeah. Not? <laughs> there you go. See, look at how convenient that was. Got my jeans there, pants hoodies and jackets and then some more clothing down there down here in this little section i've got just because i don't have anywhere else to put that my protein powder and my trainers i wear these trainers every single day because it's super comfortable and when i'm in the flat i wear sliders just because i don't want to dirty my floor you've got your shoes on right now you're dirty in my floor that's quite annoying zora why don't you take them off i've got a whiteboard over here I mean, I don't want to be cringy or whatever, just because I have, like, obviously inspirational quotes. But a 27-year-old girl who was diagnosed with cancer, and she put that on her Facebook. It was actually a really touching story. When I read that, I wanted to transfer it on my whiteboard, just to kind of remind yourself that every day is very, very important. And obviously, you do only have one lifetime. Anyway, this is the phone, which is the intercom, which is what I use to communicate with the person downstairs, the mail guy, the food guy, you. This is also a desk, which is where I generally eat, which is quite cool. Because the chair folds, the place didn't come with this, but I bought this from Ikea. I think this was about 40 quid as well with the cushion. I can put this away. And I can put this table up. So I can eat. And watch TV whilst I eat. Now on my television, I use that to watch just Netflix. Or I'll go on YouTube. I'll just chill some evenings, put my feet up and stick the telly on. My mini suitcase and also my big suitcase. I also hide my clothes rail. So once all my washing is wet, I'll transfer it from the washing machine using this and I'll hang everything up on this and I'll stick that there. Big mirror here, which is good because it makes not only the room look a little bit bigger, but it means you can be you know, pretty vain and check out your outfit. And obviously right now, I'm rocking a very, very stylish outfit. What do you reckon I could wear this on the night out? Yeah. Mm. Do you think it'll work? I've also got a little bin down here, as you can see. I've got my hair dryer down there and also my vacuum. Now, this is the best thing that I own. I absolutely love this. It's my Dyson. It lets me use different attachments. Now, I use this attachment for getting like in all the little crevices. Is it crevice? Is that the right word? Crevice? And it's also superpower, supercharged, extra suction. I want to get rid of all the dust, you know, from the little sections like this. Super convenient, super handy, and really effective. And this is why I really like this vacuum. But it also has another attachment, which is what I use to do the floor, which I'm going to have to use once Zora's left because his dirty shoes have ruined my floor. So I'll be using this again. I've also got my tennis racket for when I play tennis which is never. This little hook here is what I use to hang my helmet. Now, I always prioritize safety when I'm on the roads. Of course, we've got a lot of nutcases on the roads, but I love cycling. I love the exercise. And yeah, we hang that up there. Up here, I've got my slow cooker, my little mat. When I sit on here and I eat, I have a little table and I can eat and watch YouTube videos. Or I can watch my Netflix. <laughs> what was that face? So look, I've got plenty of teas, nighttime tea. I like finishing my evenings off with this. It's not even really an evening because I normally get home at early hours. So I like to start my morning really with that. Uh, leave me alone. So this is the bathroom. It's very small, but 
you know, we make do. Zora, why don't you flush the toilet when you use the toilet? Uh, That's disgusting. Right. I've told you about doing that. Every single time you come, you don't flush the toilet. It's disgusting. So this is my bathroom. It's very small, it's got everything that we need. Got my toilet here. I've got toilet trees up here, my moisturizers, all my stuff. And then we've got my shower. This is where I spend a nice, nice chunk of my mornings. I like to just relax in here and think about life and sing songs. And this is where all my dirty laundry goes, down here. And as we can see down here, because of the, uh, the San Miguel virus, I'm hoarding toilet paper because of course, in times of distress when there's viruses, what do we need more of? Toilet paper. Dressing gown here. It's got a little heater and an extractor fan and a light. Let's go to a little cost breakdown as to how much I pay for this flat. Now, obviously, living in Kensington, you are paying for location. You can get a lot more bang for your buck if you move a little bit further out of London. Now, my rent costs £945. Bills on top of that is an extra £45. So that comes to £990 per month just for the flat and the bills. Now, council tax on top of that comes to approximately 60 60 pounds a month, I think it is. On top of that, I also have internet, which comes to, I think it's about 25 pound per month. That brings me to a grand total of about 1,075 pounds to live here. So I hope this video has been helpful at giving you guys a better idea as to how much it costs to live in London and to rent in London. Obviously, this isn't a travel video, but unfortunately, both of my trips, first to Vietnam has been canceled. My trip to Mexico has also been canceled. As I say, as soon as the travel restrictions are lifted, I'm gonna get back to traveling. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, smash the like button as well. I'll see you guys in the next one.